No. Are you kidding? Of course he'll say no. There's no way he'd ever go out with me. He's just so... dreamy. Oh, Kent, what are we gonna do? With the Earth destroyed, we're the only two humans left. Peter, you want another waffle? Uh, I can't, Lois. I promised Janice I'd take a shift. Can I get two eggs scrambled on toast? Sure thing, honey. Adam and Eve on a raft, wreck them. I'd like a hot dog with ketchup and some... Ugh, yeah, like she could ever write Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Brian, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf was not written by Virginia Woolf. Yeah, obviously. But, you know, it's, it's pretty much about her. It really isn't, Brian. Let's, uh, let's just get into this, huh? Just pages and pages of stuff about this Kent guy. She's really obsessed with him. Well, obsession's not such a bad thing. It got us the first printing press. You're a whore, Sheila, and I'm gonna make sure everybody knows it. Lost focus, life over. Oh, Kent, this is all. Sir, we need leadership. Oh my god, Meg, are you okay? Yeah, I I'm fine. I guess I got distracted again thinking about Kent. Oh, I can't do this anymore. I've just got to ask him out. Sorry. And even Rosie O'Donnell is a woman, whether it's appropriate for a girl to ask a boy out on a date? Of course it's appropriate. It's also sad and desperate, and I would never do it, but you're not me, are you, sweetie? Sure. Oh, wow, cool. Okay, um, I'll, I'll text you. Ah, yes, I can't believe it. Oh, my God, I'm going out on a date with Kent, last name. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, I've seen you around school. You eat with the deaf kids, right? One of them isn't all the way deaf. What grade are you in again? That's still being worked out by a team of counselors. Cool. Hope to see you around school. He seems nice. Sorry, I missed all that. I was tweeting. Oh, sorry. Am I taking up the whole armrest? Boy, it's kind of chilly in here. Really? You got big sweat marks under your boobs. That must mean they must like you then. <laughs> Oh, no, I I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I my God. I thought you wanted... I didn't think this was a date. Oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed. Hey, it's 1030. I suggest you take your dope and go elsewhere. I'm sorry, Meg. I think you're great, and I love hanging out with you. But would I tell him is going on with us? I got this cold, <coughs> and it's it's just in that I don't want to give it to a friend stage, you know? Oh, God, you hear that? I sound like a Jewish c and say. The uncle says... <coughs> I'll help him figure out that he's straight. Ah, oh, that was really close. Hey, Chris, you mind if I... Listen, I hope you're okay after the other night. Yeah, no, that's that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Kent. Look, I, I know you're going through a confusing time. The thing is, though, I feel like you're not actually gay. What? Heard about Meg's boyfriend, huh? I did. I did hear, yes. Weird, right? Guy has a crush on her own brother? I know, so weird, but you know the heart wants what the heart wants. I just hope it doesn't cause awkwardness, you know, in the house. Oh, no, it doesn't have to be awkward. Not if we don't make it awkward. It's me, come on! We can make this work. Just stick your head in here and pretend it's a butt. No, Meg, stop it. God, this is getting too weird. I, I, I can't be your boyfriend. In fact, I don't even think I can be your friend. Can't wait. Guy is singing along. They're singing right near me, so it's a great musical. Hey, Meg, what's wrong? What's wrong is that Kent doesn't like me. He likes my brother, Crit. Just thinking about him now gives me heart palpitations. I feel like if I could just know what it's like to be with him, just, just once, I could at least have some sort of closure. Well, if Kent hooks up with your brother, you could just have Chris describe every last sentence within 15 minutes. Everything's fine. Lois, can I go slip and slide in the yard? Has it been half an hour since you've eaten? Yes, almost. Okay, I just want to be sure you don't get a cramp. Yay! Poor people, water fun!
with stuff with another guy. I'm not Derek Jeter. I like girls. Ugh, come on, Chris. Girls are terrible. They're always backstabbing and giving each other phony compliments. Oh, wow. You are definitely not afraid of dessert. That's my sarcastic way of saying it's not going to happen. Good day, Meg. Oh, it's going to happen. the hell? Oh, it's you. My wife said I'm not allowed to get mad at you anymore. All right, see you later. Where are you off? It's cancer, and it's made me incredibly horny. Take care. You know, Brian, I gave some thought to what you said the other day, and I realized you're right. Moving to the purple room is paperclip and rouge in their purse. Ooh, ooh! Monty! Monty! Paperclip and rouge! Paperclip and rouge! Why do you have rouge? I don't know. It's been in the purse for ages. Why do you have a purse? For the paperclips and rouge, you idiot! What are you gonna buy with that $50? Purses and rouge! Well, that was a stupid idea. But you, you were phenomenal. You really think so? You'll meet lots of famous people, like Charles Barkley. Hi, Meg. You have nice feetses. I want to put them both in my mouth and then make a slapping sound in my bald head with them. We have a trank gun if he gets rough. What kind of photo shoot was it? Did they take a picture of you eating a whole pizza pie next to an astonished chef? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Evan thinks I'm a natural and that I'm going to be a huge success. He thinks I could be a famous model. Huh, that actually sounds kind of fun. See, Brian, this trip's already off to a great start. Certainly better than that retreat we went on with the Quahog Baptist Choir. Why don't we show our visitors how we sing what we see, y'all? Sing what we see, sing. But Meg, you're here. Grab a pair of dirty socks and meet me by the tub of dead mice. Actually, Evan, I've been thinking about this, and I'm not sure being a foot fetish model's for me. What? You can't quit. You're an overnight sensation. I am? I understand your apprehension, Meg. That's why I'm going to confuse you by calling it erotica. And besides, think about all your fans. I, I guess when you put it that way, I wouldn't want to let down Drizzlefoot321. What are you doing? It's 18 and older, Brian. If I want to get in, I need to look the part. I've also been working on my banter, like in case somebody bumps into me. Bring it, use it once, and then put it back in the trunk for the rest of your life. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, this is already hurting my hip. We could probably just stand. No, no, we got the blanket. All right, let's try sideways on the elbow. It, ow, nope, that hurts. Waiting for a big gust of wind, right? Yeah? Good gust of wind. See a couple of fannies? Yeah? Give him a little bare hand slap, a little cup. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Okay, Stewie. Yeah, just give it a little test tap, see where she's at. Then you're pushing all up on that fanny. Whoa, Stewie. All right, foot fetish it is. Wait a minute. Hey, too. People keep passing out and barfing, and that barf is, like, free to take. Awesome. Plus, I met the most amazing girl. Well, I'll tell you this, she's got to be the second most amazing girl here, because I've met the most amazing girl. Oh, oh, here, here she, she comes, comes now. now. Hey, Stewie. A model. Well, guess what? There are people out there who think I'm beautiful. That's my ride. I'm going to a big party they're throwing in my honor. Meg, don't you dare walk out that door or you're grounded. Stuff nowadays. We gotta find out where that party is and get Meg out of there. Yeah, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that wasn't... <laughs> yep. Of a three-way. A, a three-way? I mean... Yeah, totally. Really? Cool, let's go. I'm serious, man. I'm doing this. I am too. Bring it on. Don't doubt... Oh, we've got the place completely surrounded. We all know how it's going to end. Come out with your hands up, lad.
What? We can't just leave her. She had nobody. No family, no friends. Really? How do you know all that? All that? You said you were in love with her. Did you not talk to her at all? Oh, I, I talked to her. I know she liked... tents. It's a five! A five! <laughs> Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Crack. There's a black tie event. That's all black and tie chicks. Okay, this must be Meg's thing. Says there's a shukaki party tonight. Shukaki? What's that? It's 50 guys, one foot. Oh my. Also, I loaned you $40 for that Lumineers t-shirt, and you said you'd pay me back, so I'm gonna take your bra. Wow. A lot of people OD at these things. Yeah. Let's go trade this bra for... We're protecting our little girl from a lot of guys who I hardly recognize from Best Buy. Listen, Meg, your mom and I are sorry for always putting you down. That's right. You shouldn't have to do porn to feel appreciated. Really? Of course, Meg. Well, Brian, thanks for going on that little adventure with me, but I think I've learned quite enough from the real world for now. Well, I guess you're ready for the purple room after all, huh? Yes. In fact, today was my first day. <laughs>